In this short video, I'm excited to share with you some brand new research that gives us new ways to improve our diversity, equity, inclusion efforts. And this isn't just a passing interest for me. I have lived in arguably one of the most diverse families in the world for my entire life, and they're div more diverse than even the superficial aspects of my family picture that I'm showing you on my screen right now. Professor Herman Aguinas is a distinguished scholar at George Washington University. He's incoming president of the Academy of Management. He's done some incredible work looking at job performance distributions of every job from computer scientist to um, service worker to a janitor. And consistently he discovered that performance of individuals is not bell-shaped. It's not normal, no. Actually, it's what's called a power law distribution, where there's a lot of people that perform at low levels and very, very few stars. Now he studied this in numerous studies, including a very important one two years ago, published in the best journal in applied psychology, looking at women and why there might be a gender productivity gap among women. Well, he noted that women do face different kinds of biases and barriers that men don't face in the workplace. And women sometimes make different career choices. But he noted that the kinds of developmental processes in men and women that produce this kind of power law distribution are like grains of sand. It's crucial that they accumulate lots and lots of grains of sand. And just like many grains in the Sahara, once in a while, a grain Will, will drop into their repertoire and produce an avalanche of performance. That explains this fat tail distribution. And that insight is key for us thinking about not just women as people that might need extra support for development to move them into the star level, but other groups from veterans to people of color and so forth. Now, if we think about those grains of sand, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of different kinds of experiences these individuals need to achieve their full career trajectory, their full potential. And each unique person has unique career-related goals. And of course, people of color, women, veterans, people with disabilities, and so forth, have different needs even within themselves. Not all African-Americans want or need the same things. Not all workplaces have the same environment or the same support for psychological safety, for example. What's unique about interventions like mentoring, like supervisory coaching, professional coaching, and experiential learning where you get support from peers is that you have both the chance to get job-related support as well as other forms of support that may be required to fully nurture an individual to his or her full potential. And you'll remember, one of the ways to do that is through finding the hidden talent with some of the new tools that I shared with you in a prior video at Emphasis. Now, when you think about the global context of many organizations, it's brilliant that modern approaches to development allow us to find coaches and mentors all over the world to support cross-cultural business growth of the sort that I actually needed when I moved to India and lived there for five years. I simply could never have survived if it wasn't for mentors that I had there. And even my administrative assistant was way more savvy than I was with the nuances of Indian culture and I really valued her suggestions and feedback uh, in coaching me about how I can be appropriate in that environment. You also wanna make sure that each unique diverse individual is fully supported. And there are new technologies from dashboards for coaches and institutions to make sure everybody's taken care of. And if not, if things go off the rails, that you can get them back on back in the game before it's too late, and some AI to support mentors or other well-wishers around the individual that's learning. This kind of high-touch, high-tech combination approach is really powerful when combined with the power law approach in the bottlenecks of the company that are really painful 
to your organization's achieving its goals. I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.